The parallelism is a very important concept in Flink application execution. It represents the ability of the current job to process data in parallel. Totally speaking, a Flink program consisting of multiple tasks, such as the transformation operators, data sources, and syncs. A task is split into several par parallel instances of subtasks for execution, and each parallel instance of subtask processes a subset of the, flink, uh, of the task input data. The number of the parallel instance of a task is called its parallelism. In the Flink application, it is a lot each operator has the different parallelism. And the maximal, parale um, maximal operator parallelism also is the Flink job maximal parallelism. There are four places can configure the Flink application parallelism. The first one, execution environment. We can specify the job application parallelism and by execution environment, but globally. As the operator, the Flink allows us to set up the parallelism for each operator at the source code level. That meets job uh, console option. If you don't specify the parallelism at the program code level, we can specify it when submit the job. Flink config YAML configurations. If nothing is specified, the Flink job will load the default parallelism value from the Flink config YAML file. Let me check it. As you can see, the parallelism default value is one. Right. Later, we will uh, demonstrate that. OK. The setting method of parallelism has a priority. The higher priority will overwrite the lower priority. Here is the priority. And you can see the operator Set the parallelism at the code level has the highest priority. And uh, the Flink config YAML default parallelism is the lowest one. Okay. Here I'll give you the diagram and show you the different operator or different task have the different parallelism. Now let me show you um how to specify the or how to submit a Flink job without uh, specifying the parallelism and the and the console option and uh, and also not specifying the parallelism and the execution environment or operator. We, we let's let's check what happened. Okay. And here I simple copy the Java code from the word count socket stream lambda presses named give a new name Flink parallelism at here. We not we not do any specifying for the uh, parallelism right. Okay. Uh, let me submit the application at the at the cluster for demonstrate that. We can use the um, run application or application uh, deploy model to to submit our application. Let me copy the command directly at here. As you can see, I specified the detached model and specified the class folder name and specified the archive package, but I don't specify the parallelism at all. <clears throat> okay, submit this application. Wait one moment. Oops, the job submitted the field. Actually, this is my fault. Uh, let me check that. Click the logs and click here for the fully logs. I'm back at here. Um, Apache Flink client deploying uh, could not execute the application. <clears throat> so 
the local streaming environment actually. Uh, oh, sorry, that's my fault. Um, we could not use uh, uh, create a local environment uh, for the remote submit. So we can use the uh, get execution environment at here. And then we repackage uh, the, 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 the archive jar and uh, upload to uh, the server and uh, resubmit that. Okay, let me do it. Now, the Flink job submitted successfully. Let me open the name node web browser, uh, web UI at here. As you can see, our application is a uh, is running state, right? And uh, click the application uh, master. <clears throat> a little bit slowly, right? Uh, as you can see, existing uh, one um, job in the uh, running job list. Click that. And uh, as you can see, this moment, uh, each task or subtask is parallelism is one. Why? Because we not specify the parallelism at the code level or uh, console command level. So uh, when we submit this job, uh, we'll load, we'll load the um, default parallelism from the Flink config YAML file, right? That is one. Um, because the maximal parallelism or task parallelism is one, that means we only need one task source. That is, that is enough, right? But why at here, running the two containers? Two containers, why? Give me a question, uh, give me this answer. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let me give you an answer uh, directly. Uh, as you know, we submit the application by, uh, Flink application by uh, application deployer model. Uh, at the wrong time, it will uh, first create the job manager. Uh, that means the job manager was used to one of the container. And the, another container will be used by our um, Flink job. <clears throat> okay. Later, uh, let me submit the Flink job and uh, specify the parallelism by um, console command and uh, and see how many containers used. Okay. <clears throat> 